It is <clears throat> 5.58 a.m. I don't know why I woke up. I woke up at like 5.30. But, funny enough, when I was like, I'm not going to say what I was doing. I thought to myself, I should probably explain why I decided to make these videos about like the whole like let's talk about SAIC and then like with different students and that's because basically I just felt like you guys hearing my point of view all the time isn't really it's beneficial to an extent but like um if you're really trying to get a sense of the school it's really better to hear from a multitude of people um so and like I don't know like that's why I wanted to bring on my friends or like people that I've met at SCIC um because not everyone has the same experience and I was just like I feel like the experience I'm having is good but that doesn't mean it'll always be that way for like it always depends on you as a person and just like how you connect with the school whether or not it serves you or not like it's like um like Sherman described it really well well he didn't like say this exactly but after like a conversation it's like school's like a relationship like not all of them not everyone belongs in like a relationship with this person <laughs> if that makes sense um so yeah i just really wanted you guys to get different perspectives um other than just me because i'm kind of tired of just talking about myself um and like my experiences because like it only goes so far and like there are so many other videos on here that i'm realizing about like people's experiences at saic and i definitely think you guys should watch them there's kathleen and i talked about one of them it was a girl I forgot her name um but her tagline is like why i left saic and it's i think it's really important for you guys to see how people feel about the school whether it's positive or negative um just because like you're about to come here or you're thinking about coming here and it's expensive and like everyone's saying like it's really important to do your research to see whether or not you um like will do well like at the school like and when choosing colleges i wouldn't really think about what you can offer them or like if you're good enough it's really about what can the school give you what resources can they give you will they benefit you it's not about them wow you can see i need to go back to sleep but yeah it's like it's that simple um so i hope you guys enjoy these perspectives from my friends and people I've met. I have a lot more coming. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I have three more or four more scheduled. So in total it's like eleven. Um I'm trying to get them from different um like sections of SAIC. Still trying to find someone that does animation and um architecture. So I'm searching <laughs> um but i just hope you guys enjoy the videos and i hope they provide some insight because it's hard to know what a school is like and also the last thing i'll say is that this will be my shortest video on here um everyone's experiences are their experiences and how you will experience the school may be similar may be different you can't always watch someone's video and be like that's how it's gonna be for me I'm not gonna go there or that's how it's gonna be for me i definitely have to go there like i would take everyone's videos and even mine and like everything with a grain of salt um well not with a grain of salt maybe like with a more chunky piece of salt but just like keep in mind that not everyone's experience is the same so with that being said I'm going to go back to sleep. I'm just going to upload this real quick. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good day whenever you're watching this. And I hope you guys know that 
it's gonna be cool whatever you choose i feel like i'm not making sense anymore okay